today's top five in honor of Veterans Day, the top five celebrity veterans. Number five, he's a world champion martial artist as well as a movie and television star, but Chuck Norris may have never been that without the Air Force. Aiming for a career in law enforcement, he joined the USAF Security for Police and while stationed in Korea, he realized one night on duty that he couldn't arrest a rowdy drunk person without pulling his weapon. As a result, he started studying some of the local Korean martial arts. Number four, Mr. T. Before his starring role in the hit TV show A Team, Mr. T was a member of the biggest team of them all, the U.S. Army. Mr. T served in the Army's military police corps in the mid 70s. In 1975, he was awarded a letter of recommendation by his drill sergeant, and in a cycle of 6,000 troops, he was elected top trainee of the cycle and promoted to squad leader. Pretty impressive. After his discharge from the Army, I never knew this, Mr. T tried out for the Green Bay Packers but failed to make the team because of a knee injury. Number three, fresh out of high school in 1950, Johnny Cash joined the Air Force as the Korean War began and spent most of his four-year enlistment in Germany. Not very surprising for a man with music in his veins. Cash was handy when it came to the rhythms of Morse code and served as an intercept operator with the USAF Security Service. Number two, long before Clint Eastwood dared anyone to make his day as Dirty Harry, he served in the Army as a swimming instructor. His fate would have it. His swimming skills would come in handy. One time when he was hitching a ride aboard a Navy torpedo bomber, the plane developed engine trouble and was forced to ditch in San Francisco Bay. And number one... Yes, Elvis Presley. Elvis was stationed at Fort Hood for basic training and later was assigned to the 3rd Armored Spearhead Division and stationed in Germany. It was there that he met Priscilla, who would eventually become his wife. During his time in Texas and Germany, Elvis kept a low profile, although he was already wealthy enough to bring his father and grandmother to live with him off base. By the time he finished his Army stint, Elvis had been promoted to sergeant. And one last note, thank you to all who have served and continue to serve our country.